Okay, so we're here with uh, Ruth and Wendell. You guys have been here for how long? Uh, we've been Seven. here since the uh, end of June, the end of June 2017. So. And it's, uh, today is January... The January 16th. Something, the 16th. 16th. Yeah. Okay, so about seven months. Seven months. Yes. Yeah. Good. How did you like it here? It was great. We loved it here. Good, the good. people are great. Uh, the only trouble we've had here is with the government officials, or the dock officials. Yeah. Um, they're not pleasant people. Uh, you can't get any answers from them, even the English-speaking ones, why they do what they do. Uh, today we went to check out at immigration. We ended up paying more to get out of here than we did when we went back home after being here for three months. We ended up paying 4,000 pesos each today to get out of here. As and well as our docket. As well as our Even though you left the country and came back. That's right. We left the country yes. in August and we paid up our, our immigration, immigration at the airport. We came back at the end of September and we've been here for just over three months. And we paid exactly the same amount of money again to immigration that people paid when they arrived in June and just left in at the same time as us. Right. So we've paid immigration mm -hmm. in August. And we paid again now, right. and we paid when we arrived. So we've probably paid immigration well in excess of over 20,000 pesos for the two of us since we've been here. For which seven it, months. W yeah. For seven months, which is a little bit extreme, considering you can go to a lot of other countries mm -hmm. and not pay that amount of money. How much money do you think you've spent since you've been here? Oh. In U.S. dollars? Yeah. Uh, we probably spent in excess of... $15,000 probably since we've been here yeah. at the restaurants and the local bars and you know renting vehicles and whatever Cost else. Cost of the armory and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So how was your experience checking out today? Well it was a little frustrating. Uh, I mean it, it, it went a lot quicker than it did checking in but it was frustrating because the fellas, I don't understand why they don't have people that can speak English that are working there. Um, and um, he, he takes a, a little while to fill out the forms, but he doesn't, he can't communicate with you as to why you have to pay so much money. Right. He just expects you to pay and that's the end of it. Yeah, we did bring one of the younger guys in that does speak English, but he didn't get anywhere with the guy. The guy convinced him as well that we had to pay that much, so it didn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to come back? Oh yes. Probably, we're yeah. Come back. Yeah, we'll probably in come back. In 2019. Huh. 2018. We're coming back 2019. Oh, okay. 2019. Because <laughs> this is 18 now. We're not coming oh, back. Oh, I'm this sorry, year. yes. <laughs> 2019. Sorry. <laughs> You're behind me. Yes, I am. Where are the nicest people in all of the Caribbean? Uh, well, because we spent so much time here, we a probably a feel that the people here, they're all very friendly, all the shop owners, they all go out of their way, they all try to they help do, yeah. you, yeah. And, uh, and they, and even though the English isn't their first language, um, they, they try to communicate with you and make you feel comfortable. And, and just an example of that, Norm and Johnny from Wendy's Bar. And Wendy, we met Wendy, and she's a very pleasant person, and she does speak English, but her parents, on the other hand, do not. And they treat us like family. Yeah. We don't speak their language, they don't speak our language, but they treat us like family. When yeah. we walk up the street, we have to go over and hug them, or they come to us and yeah. hug them. Yeah. And we communicate that way, just in our feelings. Yeah. And they're great people. Great. And most of the Dominican people are very nice. Yeah. And it's very safe yeah. here. It's very safe. You can leave your dinghy at the dock and you don't we have to We have no worry complaints about, about anything stealing. here other than when you're checking in and out of here. And the, the money that it costs you, we don't know if it's right or not. If it's the cost, if that's what it is, fine. But I don't want to pay people if they're ripping you off and putting the money in the pocket. So, it, it, and if there's something in the harbor that you're paying for, which there isn't, it, what, What's in the harbor that you're paying for? You pay harbor uh, fees. We pay we pay okay. moorings or, for you. in our uh, to keep our boat on, but there's no services in the harbor. Uh, 
like we're rainbow. not really sure what the harbor yeah. fees are yeah. for. Yeah. It's not like they provide, they don't protect the dinghy dock. It's supposed to be for the cruisers only, yet there's fishing boats there. And so we're not really just too sure yeah. exactly what the harbor fees are right. for. Good. I don't uh, mind paying money when it's legitimate, but if it's not, then yeah. if it's going in somebody's pocket, it's totally different. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you in 2019. 2019. Right. Yeah. Please say good things about Lupron. <laughs> Tell them not to let the government here. officials bother them. We do. Them. Uh, if it's we're talking here. to other sailors or anybody out other the, outside the country, we always say good things about Lupron because that's all we've experienced here, yeah. other than the harbor uh, yeah. personnel. Yeah. Uh, and some of them, they're not very pleasant. Yeah. That's all I have to yeah. say. Okay. If somebody can do something about that, that's a good, a good thing. But if not, then we'll just have to put up with it, I guess. Yeah. But hopefully the Cruisers Association can change that. Yeah. I hope so, too. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. We'll see you soon. Yeah.